So you're looking in your fridge, it's full of leftovers this morning and you're counting the days before you throw them away, right? Well, believe it or not, some Thanksgiving staples can be used as natural, inexpensive beauty treatments. Beauty expert Stacy Cox is here to tell us how we can use our leftovers and instead of stuffing our face, we're going to put them on our face. Right, right. We're Good gonna, morning. We're going to save calories. Good morning, Debbie. <laughs> <laughs> save, I, I love this. Okay, so let's start with our eyes, because right. particularly for women, after a hard day of cooking, you know, we look a little Tuffiness, tired. Toughiness, yes. dark circles, fine lines. Yes. So what you're going to do, who would have thought, but like, you know, Aunt Mary's jello mold from last night, mm -hmm. you're going to take the jello mold and you're going to get it into squares or circles, whatever shape you fancy. Mm -hmm. You're gonna wrap it in a little bit of plastic wrap. Put it in the freezer for 15, min 30 minutes. You wanna get it cold and frozen. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna take your favorite eye cream. You're gonna apply the eye cream around the orbitals of your eyes mm -hmm. and take your now newly made eye pads and place them over your eyes for five to 10 minutes. Okay, and really it's just the cold that's it's doing the It's the cold, it's, it's, it's the, the, the technical term is called vasoconstriction. Uh -huh. And you can do this, just think, you could do this with like your babies, clean, clean them first, but your teething <laughs> rings, um, cold spoons. Okay. Anything cold is gonna help reduce puffiness and and uh, darkness. All right, and no offense to Aunt Mary, but this is a better use of the jello mode, I have to say. It. Okay, moving on to pumpkin. Yeah. Of course, that's a staple at Thanksgiving. And it's a staple in a lot of uh, day spa facials. And the facials with the pumpkin ingredient in it are great because it exfoliates dead skin off your face and it so gives you a glow. So what do we have in here? So you take a little bit of your pumpkin, your leftover pumpkin pie, your uh -huh. puree. You mix in a little bit of honey because mm -hmm. that adds moisture to dry skin. You can mix in a little bit of milk, like soy milk or, uh -huh. or regular milk because the lactic acid, again, gently exfoliates the dead skin off okay. your face. If you've got oily skin, add in a little, like a teaspoon of uh, apple cider vinegar. Uh -huh. That helps absorb a little bit of oil. You put that on, leave it on for a few minutes? You leave it on five to 10 minutes and then wash it off with lukewarm water and uh -huh. put on the appropriate moisturizer. And if you're hungry while you're doing it, you just- You, you do what Debbie did, just exactly. a little bit. Okay, mm -hmm. this is pumpkin as well, right? This is, what you do is you take the original pumpkin pie mask uh -huh. and you can amp it up by adding a little bit of brown sugar into the mix and that makes a nice face and body scrub. Okay, That's right. easy. So and it's just adding the abrasive so you can right, get off the desk. and things like honey so. and milk and brown sugar, they're sitting in your pantry and your fridge. All right, and yeah. you can use this on your face and your body. Correct. This sounds delicious. I don't know why I would put it on my face. But I know, it's cranberry I know. Cranberry mint you, it's and cran yogurt. Right, it's cran It's a gentle cranberry mint. Here, taste this. You want this. to taste it? Absolutely. <laughs> you can eat it. You can, you can wash with it. But it what needs some sugar. Yeah. But, okay, so what, what do we do with do it is, on our face? Okay, so you take about 40 cranberries, you puree them, you can use your coffee, I use my coffee grinder. Uh -huh. You take a little bit of mint, you add it into the cranberries, a little bit of plain yogurt. Again, uh -huh. the yogurt has that milk acid, so it's exfoliating. And you can cl you mix it all together with warm boiling water, a little uh -huh. bit of half cup. Okay. And then you mix it all together and you wash your face with it. All right, quickly, you just have a few seconds. All right. That sounds good, don't taste it, folks, <laughs> let me just tell you. Potatoes and salt, right. really? Yeah, you know, for your elbows, hard to really dry spots, elbows, soles, of your feet, take a little bit of your leftover mashed potatoes, a little aloe vera juice, and some, I've got some Noah Natural sea salt. You mix it all together and scrub away. Scrub your elbows. Mm -hmm. Boom. Stacey Cox, thank you so much. Thanks. It's delicious and informative.